Hi, I'm Christina and welcome back. This is So Simply Said by Christina. You can see my blog URL and also my online store URL where you can find these inspirations and also buy all of these fabulous products. So today what we're going to focus on is how to build this super cute little bow. And it's really easy. So what we're gonna need is this bow builder punch one of the bone folders and I want to mention with these if you do have pets especially like cats they like to chew on them so I'd keep them out of reach and then we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz with using one of our fantastic punches okay so let's get started so what you're going to need is going to need some of our great cardstock you can see that I've already used a little bit of it and you're going to punch out two times so one and two. If you're like me, I like to try to use as much of the paper as I can. Okay, so now we're done with the bow builder. And you can see, if I can get it back into the view, you have two of these and you'll only need one of these little squares so you can throw the other one away. So this is our actual bow part. What you wanna do is maybe Use your bone folder and pull and make it a little bit of a curl. See that? So we're going to curl. We're going to curl. And then these are going to be our little bow ends right here. See those? So I'm going to want to use, I want the curl to go up like this. Then up like this. Okay. Then you're going to need some adhesive um, depending on what you want or how strong you need your bow to be you can use different adhesives I'm going to use our little snail remember the little dots up here is where you put your fingers and you push down and pull off and then it already has adhesives I think you can see that on the video and you clip it together there's part of our bow then we have the other one other part of our bow Super easy. These really look cute on different packages, um, doing different things. And then I do another little piece on the other bow. I'm gonna attach it like that. And I want kind of my greens to match up, so I did a little bit more white and green on this side. But it really doesn't matter, it depends on what kind of paper you're using. This is going to be our centerpiece, so I want that there's going to be more green showing. I want a little bit of contrast. So there's a couple of different ways to do this one. Um, what I like to do, though, is take our snail and put it all the way down. And then adhere it. I like to start, start in the middle and glue and glue. There we go. So that's the first part of our bow. You can end there if you want. Or you can add these fun little ends to them to make them really look like bows. So these would be really great for weddings, for baby showers, for sorority invitations, for really anything. Um, and they're so quick and easy to do. And our bow builder punch is really just fantastic. So there, we got a bow. If you want to add a little bit of pizzazz, um, you can also add on these fun little sparkles. So how I did that is I chopped off a piece of silver washi tape from our celebration item. You'll remember that celebration will end March 31st. So if you really like this idea, you need to get it quick. So what I did is I took a little hole punch and went in and hole punch it out. You can maybe see in the video, it's kind of stuck right there in the hole. So what I do is I take our piercer tool right here, pop it open, put the little piercer tool on it because it's sticky on the back because it's washi tape. It comes right out and add it to your little bow, wherever you want. Okay, now you have a really cute bow. You can see right here that I put the ends or the tails on a little bit differently. And 
there you have it. Really quickly, you have three very different types of bows, but it took me maybe seven minutes to put them all together. So I hope this made sense. Again, you can find all of these items in my Stamping Up store. This is what you're looking for, this bow builder punch. And if you have any questions, I would really appreciate it if you reached out to me. Also, whenever you get a chance, please follow me on um, my blog and check out any events that I have going on. Thanks!